Now I will try and manage this for the convenience of the chamber and get a start with Senator 11, uh, 1124 in the name of Senator Ciccone. Senator Urquhart. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask that general business notice motion number 1124, proposing an extension of time for the Select Committee on Temporary Migration uh, to report, be taken as formal. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Urquhart. I move the motion. Question is that motion be agreed to? Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Rice is not. Oh, I'll give you a moment to get to your seat, Senator Rice. Senator Rice. Thanks, Mr. President. I ask that General Business Notice of Motion Number 1125, standing in my name for today, proposing the introduction of a bill be taken as formal. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Rice. I move that the following bill be introduced: a bill for an act to require reporting on electric vehicles and for related purposes. The question is that motion be agreed to? Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Rice. <laughs> Um, I present the bill and move that this bill may proceed without formalities and be now read a, second, uh, read a first time. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Rice. I move that this bill now be read oh, a second. Oh, sorry. I have to call okay. the clerk. I always forget that step. My apologies, the clerk. A bill for an act to require reporting on electric vehicles and for related purposes. Senator Rice. I move that this bill now be read a second time, and I seek leave to table an, an explanatory memorandum relating to the bill. Is leave granted? It is. Senator Rice. I table an, ex, an, an explanatory memorandum, and I seek leave to have the second reading speech incorporated in Hansard and to continue my remarks. Is leave granted? It is. Thank you, Senator Rice. Could we go to 1128 in the name of Senator Pratt? Senator Urquhart. Thank you, Mr. President. Before asking that the motion be taken as formal, I inform the chamber that Senator Smith will also sponsor, sponsor the motion. I'm suspecting that Senator Dean Smith, but this doesn't say that, but I'll put that down. I ask that general business notice of motion number 1128 be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none? I'm oh, there is. Thank you. Um, 1128. Order. Okay. So I'll now move to 1129 in the name of Senator Stirl. Senator Urquhart. I ask that general business notice of motion number 1129 be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? Yes. There is. I'll now go to 1130 Senator, in the name of Senator Polly. Before asking that the motion be taken as formal, I inform the chamber that Senator Griff will also sponsor the motion. I ask that Gen uh, general business notice of motion number 1130 be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? Yes. I'll now move to. Sorry, just taking notes here. I'll now move to number 1126 in the name of Senator Steelejohn. Senator Steelejohn. Thank you, Mr. President. I ask uh, that business notice of motion. Uh, number 1126 in relation to the holding of works at the Australian War Memorial until the completion of the appeals process be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Steelejohn. I move the motion. Senator Dunningham. I seek leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted for one minute. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the National Capital Authority uh, consideration of the Australian War Memorial development was one of uh, several processes that independently considered the project. The Public Works Committee also considered the need, scope, cost, purpose and value for money of the proposed works, and the Parliament agreed to the expediency motion to carry out the project in February of 2021. Heritage aspects were assessed in accordance with the EPBC Act. Following this, the proposal was approved with conditions in December of last year. The NCA considered all issues raised and concluded that the proposal is not inconsistent with the National Capital Plan. The question is, the motion moved by Senator Steele, John, be agreed to? Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. The noes have it. Division required. Ring the bells.
Someone want to uh, attend to that? We don't answer phones in the chamber. We're, so they're, they're let in as a courtesy if they're kept on silent. Lock the doors. The question is that motion number 1126 be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I appoint Senator Seawitt tell of the ayes, Senator Urquhart tell of the noes. The result of the division is ayes 10, noes 36. The question is resolved in the negative. I now jump to question 1131 in the name of Senator Rice. Senator Rice. Thanks, Mr. President. I ask that general business notice of motion number 1131 be taken as a formal motion. So any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Rice. I move the motion. Senator Dunningham. I seek leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted for one minute. Thanks, uh, Mr President. Ambition is important, but action and outcomes are ultimately what matter. Between 2005 and 2019, Australia reduced emissions faster than Canada, Japan, New Zealand and the US, faster than both the G20 average and the OECD average. We have the most solar per person of any country in the world, the highest rate of household solar in the world, and the, uh, the most wind and solar per person of any country outside of Europe. 
The Morrison government is committed to reducing our emissions in a way that preserves Australia's strengths by protecting our regional communities, our resources industry and our heavy industry. The government's practical, technology-driven approach is reducing emissions without imposing new costs on households, businesses or the economy. The question is Senator Roberts. I think leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted for one minute. Thank you, Mr. President. One Nation opposes this motion. Under my cross-examination during its presentations, CSIRO has admitted it has never said that carbon dioxide from human activity is a danger. CSIRO later admitted that today's temperatures are not unprecedented. CSIRO then cited references proving that, the, that proved that the rate of temperature increase is not unprecedented. Former Obama science adviser Steve Coonan recently admitted, quote, the warmest temperatures in the US have not risen in the past 50 years. For more than 10 years, the current Green Senate leader has refused to debate the empirical data and refused to debate the corruption of climate science on which the Greens call is based. There is no empirical scientific evidence for decarbonising and deindustrialising our nation. Yet Greens leader Adam Bant supports European Union tariffs and Korean levies for supposed climate inaction. Without evidence, the Greens' nightmare call on the government would hurt the poor, hurt our natural environment, hurt jobs and gut our economy. Senator Gallagher. Leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted for one minute. Thank you. At the recent G7 meeting um, demonstrated again that Australia is an international laggard on climate action. But good climate policy and the jobs that come with it will only be delivered by a majority Labor government. And the Greens know this. It won't be delivered by stunt motions by the Greens party in this place, and Labor opposes the motion. Question is motion number 1131 be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Contrary, no. The noes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for one minute. Lock the doors. The question is that motion number 1131 be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I point Senator C. What tell of the ayes? Senator Urquhart, tell of the noes.
The result of the division is ayes 10, noes 38. The matter is resolved in the negative. Senator Waters, could I come to your matter number 1121? Thanks, President. I ask that General Business Notice of Motion number 1121, standing in my name for today, proposing the introduction of a bill, be taken as formal. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator Waters. Thank you, President. I move that the following bill be introduced. A bill for an act to establish an inquiry into when, whether Christian Porter is a fit and proper person to be a Minister of State and for related purposes. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Waters. I present the bill and move that the bill may proceed without formalities and be now read a first time. Question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no. no. The noes have it. The I'm making a call based on my assessment of the chamber. The question is that the bill be read a first time. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The noes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. The question is the bill being introduced by Senator Waters be read a first time. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left of the chair. I point Senator Urquhart, tell for the ayes. Senator Smith, tell for the nose. The result of the division is ayes 30, noes 33. The matter is resolved in the negative. I ask senators to remain in the chamber for the final matter, which is matter number 1132 in the name of Senator Watt and others. Senator Urquhart will be doing that on behalf of Senator Watt. Senator Urquhart. Thank you, Mr President. I ask that general business notice of motion number 1132 be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, Senator, there is. Okay, so Senator Urquhart, do you have a motion to move that, that oh, Senator Gallagher? That concludes the list. Senator Patrick. I think you've missed uh, Senator Lambie's motion for, for today. Sorry, I was informed that was being debated later. My apologies, Senator Lambie. Uh, you can do it now if you wish. I was informed it was coming up later. No, so it is coming up later. Thank you. So that concludes the the list of motions. Senator Gallagher, we'll go, go through the routine. Thank you. I seek leave to move motions uh, 1128, 1129, 1130 and 1132 and that they be determined without amendment or debate. Is leave granted? Leave is not granted. I move, so much of standing order, I move that so much of standing orders be suspended as would prevent me from moving motions 1128, 1129, 1130 and 1132. The question is the motion to suspend standing orders be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for one minute. Gallagher be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left of the chair. I point Senator Dean Smith, tell the ayes, and Senator Patrick, tell the nose.
The result of the division is ayes 61, noes 2. The matter is resolved in the affirmative. I'll call Senator Gallagher to move the four motions. Senator Gallagher. Uh, thank you. I move the motions, uh, Mr. President. 1128, 1129, 1130, and 1132. Thank Senator you. Dunningham. Just ask on behalf of the government that 1132 be put separately to the other three, and in doing so, just table our statements. I will do that. Senator Roberts? I seek leave to, to table a, a short statement uh, on, in regard to 1132. Is leave granted. Leave is granted. All right, what I'll do is I'll put motions number 1128, 1129, and 1130. The question is those motions be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. I'll now put matter number 1132. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. The noes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
lock the doors. The question is that motion number 1132 be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I point Senator Urquhart tell of the ayes, Senator Dean Smith tell of the noes. The result of the division is ayes 30, noes 33. The matter is resolved in the negative. Senators, that concludes the discovery of formal business. Senator Waters, sorry, can I have some? I'll, I'll let people get across the chamber. Can people sort of not go between me and the speaker, if possible? I'll call Senator. I'll call Senator Waters. Thanks, President. I seek leave to table an explanatory memorandum and the second reading speech as accompanying documents to the bill of which notice of introduction was accepted. Is leave granted? Leave is not granted at the moment, Senator Waters. Um, the people are indicating if you might circulate them. They might be. Well, I can only say I can't comment on that. I can only say at the moment leave is not granted. I'll give, I'll, what I'll do is I'll read out the MPI and then um, there's, th th this can be leave is not granted. Give notice of a late motion pertaining to the introduction of a bill relating to parliamentary procedure. Is leave granted? Leave is not granted, Senator Waters. President, and I seek leave, uh, pursuant to contingent notice. I move that so much of standing orders be suspended as would pre prevent me um, from uh, moving, giving notice of intention of a late motion. And I just want to outline. Sorry, for no, the benefit I've got to, so, Sorry, I just want to. I've just got to clarify your seek. I just want to clarify before you speak, Senator Waters. You're seeking to suspend so much of standing orders as would allow you to submit a late notice of motion. I just want to check, is there a contingent notice to this effect? It's not. So I just want to check. Well, it's President, thank you. In that case, Senator I— Senator Waters, I'll let you, you, you have the right to speak to the motion. Thank you, President. Um, sorry, you've granted me leave, yes? No, you're moving to suspend standing orders yes. to thank allow you. you to submit a late notice. Thank you. Thank you, President. I just want to outline um, to anyone uh, listening, and certainly there will be many survivors of sexual assault who have in fact been listening to what's just occurred. As folk know, there are unresolved rape allegations against uh, current Minister Porter, who's no longer the Attorney General but remains a minister. The police have not been able to investigate. The Prime Minister has not seen fit to investigate. The Prime Minister asked his mate, Mr Porter, if there was any truth to the allegations and accepted Mr Porter's word for it. The Prime Minister did not read the dossier of allegations from the victim provided to him. He has simply accepted his mate's version of the story. Since there is no other avenue to ascertain the truth of what occurred, and since the Prime Minister refuses to call his own inquiry into the fitness of uh, the people that he has appointed to be cabinet ministers, uh, to be so cabinet ministers, I was attempting to introduce a bill, and in fact was able to got so far as to introduce a bill for a commission of inquiry to ascertain whether 
Christian Porter is fit to remain as a cabinet minister making decisions for the benefit of all Australians. Now, in a virtually unprecedented move, this government blocked that bill from being read a first time. They have stopped the bill in its tracks. They just then denied me leave to even table the explanatory memorandum and second reading speech. This is a government that cannot handle transparency of any sort. I've now sought uh, uh, leave to introduce the bill a second time, and once again, the government has de denied me leave to do so. This is a government that thrives on secrecy. We all knew this, but this is a new low to stop a senator from introducing a bill uh, for a measure of transparency that goes to the functioning of this democracy is an absolute outrage. It is an outrage to process and democracy, but more so it is an outrage to survivors of sexual assault everywhere. 90,000 people signed a petition earlier in the year and they marched on this parliament. The Prime Minister didn't want to talk to them then either, but they signed a petition saying we needed an inquiry into Minister Porter's fitness to be a minister of the Crown. Now, many of Kate's friends uh, have been rallying around this issue, and in fact, Jo Dyer is sitting in the chamber with us now, witnessing this. She was ready to witness the introduction of a bill. Instead, she's witnessed this government blocking the bill from going forward. Uh, just when you think this government can't uh, sink to new lows, they manage to find a way every single time. They have just stopped a bill from proceeding. I can only think of two other occasions in my 10 years of being in this place that that has happened. Um, it may well have happened on the very odd occasion prior to that uh, time, but it is highly unusual to stop senators introducing bills, particularly when it's a bill about process and it's about making sure that this democracy can function properly and that members of the Australian community can have confidence in the institutions of government and that rape survivors everywhere can feel emboldened to share their stories and seek justice, this government is they should be utterly ashamed of themselves. And I want to know who gave the authority to shut this bill down. I want to know if it was just the folks sitting over there, or was it the Prime Minister that issued a decree that says this bill will not proceed? My mate Christian Porter has to stay in the Cabinet because he assured me he's innocent, and that's all I need to know. I want to know who gave the order to shut this bill down. The Australian people deserve to know why have you shut this bill down? What is your reasoning and what are you going to do? If not this commission of inquiry, what are you going to do to make sure that justice is served in this case? Will you just have anyone on your cabinet benches? Do those prime ministerial statement of ministerial standards, do they actually not mean anything? We thought as much, but you've just proved it today. This is an outrage. Women across the country, decent people across the country will be horrified that this government is once again shutting down this semblance of a measure of seeking justice. This is nothing but a protection racket for the boys' club that is this government and this cabinet. I urge you to reconsider. I'm not going to let this drop. The 90,000 people that signed that petition are not going to let this drop. The 51 per cent of the population are not going to let this drop. I mean, by all means, go to the election with this as your position, and I look forward to you being condemned to the dustbin of history on the opposition benches for many years to come. But women deserve better. This country deserves better. Shame Order, on you. Senator, Senator Rustin, I'll, I'll call Senator Rustin next, but I'll ask Senator Waters a question just because I wasn't to clarify. You are seeking to suspend standing orders to give notice. Is it of reintroducing the same bill or is it a different bill? If I need to change a word in the bill, I will. Okay, so the motion is to reintroduce a bill. Sorry, to introduce a bill relating to parliament, parliamentary procedure, as you first outlined. Thank you, Senator Rustin. Move that the question be put. Question is that the question be put. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. But the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. Aye. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes. Order.
Lock the doors. The question is that the motion be put. Those have, uh, the ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I point Senator Dean Smith, tell off the ayes. Senator Urquhart, tell off the noes. The result of the division is ayes 32, noes 31. The matter is resolved in the affirmative. I will now put the question. The question is the motion to suspend standing orders moved by Senator Waters be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. Aye. The noes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for one minute. Lock the doors. The question is 
the motion to suspend standing orders moved by Senator Waters be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left of the chair. I appoint Senator Urquhart teller for the ayes, Senator Dean Smith teller for the noes. The result of the division is ayes 30, noes 33. The matter is resolved in the negative. Senators, that concludes or we have concluded formal business. I'll now move on to the MPI and give senators a moment to take their seats or vacate the chamber.